What is up guys, James here for the Light of Raga YouTube channel, and in this video we're going to be doing a reading for all my Cancer Sun sign friends. If you're born between the dates of June 21st and July 22nd, then you are a Cancer Sun sign, and this video is for you. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the reasons for worry and stress in the lives of Cancers. We all have worry and stress in our lives, and... Uh, you know, a lot of us are unconscious about it. We don't even realize it. And uh, a lot of us think that worry and stress is something that we're supposed to have. But that couldn't be further from the truth. Worry and stress is something that we choose. And uh, a lot of it can be avoided. And that's what this spread is going to do today. It's going to get down to the root causes of worry and stress in your life at this time. And see where we can what we can do to heal and move forward. Uh, so we're going to be using the Omega Land Tarot deck to do this reading. This is a post-apocalyptic themed deck. I've done a deck review on my channel if you want to go see that. It's somewhere on my channel. Uh, we're also going to be using the Mortem Oraculum Oracle deck to tell us uh, what kind of shadow issues are at play here. And we're going to use the crystal reading cards to tell us what kind of healing we can focus on so that uh, worry and stress is not a part of our lives in the future, Cancer friends. Okay, so if you would, give me a moment to center myself and ask the tarot cards a question. What is the main cause, main reason for worry and stress in the lives of Cancer sun signs at this time? All right, that should do it. Cut the deck. This is going to be a three-carder. So we'll go one, two, three strikes you're out at the end. All right. <laughs> okay, now let's go to the Mortimer column. I'm going to ask it, what shadow aspect is behind the worry and stress in Cancer's lives? Right? Did I, did I word that properly? I think so. The energy and the intention is there. So spirit knows what I want. Thank you. And uh, lastly, we got the crystal reading cards. We're going to ask it, uh, what kind of healing energy should Cancer Sun Signs focus on to remove worry and stress from their lives at this time? Healing energies for Cancers. Beautiful. We'll take a look at the Oracle cards at the end of the reading. Right now, we'll focus on the Tarot. And the first card we're going to look at is this middle one, and it represents the heart of the matter. So the reasons behind worry and stress at this time for Cancer Sun Science. We've got the Page of Swords. Hmm. You know what? Let me get a clarifier. I want to be 100% sure. I'm getting a message here. I just want to be a little bit clearer on it. I use the Psychic Tarot of the Heart for clarification. Third eye chakra, interesting. All right, I'm getting the feeling here, Cancer friends, that a, a big cause of worry and stress in your lives is a, a disconnect between the things you're thinking and saying and your true self. And uh, I want to stress that this is a general reading. Not everything applies to everybody, but uh, kind of figure out what these cards mean for you. I think that'll help a little bit. But that's the that's the gist of it. That's the feeling I'm getting is that maybe your heart wants one thing, your soul wants something, and uh, you want to move in that direction, but your ego mind is blocking, and your ego mind is saying, "No, we can't do that. We can't, uh, you know, express ourselves fully because then we'll be judged, right? That's just an example of how the ego mind will kind of conflict with the soul. And that's kind of what I'm getting right now is that your words and your thoughts aren't in alignment with your soul at this time. And that's causing worry. It's causing stress, whether you realize it or not. 
Uh, that is the very root cause. So uh, think about you know the things that you say, what or, or or the things that you think even think and say to both yourself and to other people. Are they in alignment with? what your soul wants, what you truly want to do in this life, who you want to be, where you want to go? Think about it. And uh, if the answer is, you know, no, they're not in alignment, then we got some work to do and continue watching, okay? So the second card we're going to look at is this one, and it represents what you need to let go of at this time in order to promote healing. And we've got the three of coins. Oh, okay. The What you need to let go of is the idea that you're going to fix yourself by outside means. That, you know, something's going to come along and help you. Right? You know, you're going to get that job that you wanted and now you're going to feel good. Or, you know, uh, you're going to get that package in the mail is going to make you feel good. Or you're going to go do some retail therapy and uh, you're going to feel better. Or, God forbid, i got to do some heroin. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not promoting that. I'm saying that's bad. Um... But uh, the idea that healing is going to come from outside sources, that you can really manipulate the world around you to bring healing to you, it doesn't work like that. Healing comes from within, and you know your outside world will reflect your inside world. So it's quite the opposite of what a lot of people naturally gravitate towards. And part of it is because society has lied to us. Society has said, you know, you'll feel better once you get that house. You'll feel better when you have the car you like. And, and uh, those are lies. Right, you're not going to feel better because you're going to still be the same person in, inside. Uh, it's it, the Healing comes from within. And I think what this card is suggesting to you, Cancer Friends, is to remove that idea. Remove the idea that you can, you can do things in the world to make you feel happy. To have less stress. Uh, it doesn't work like that. You need to do the inner healing in order to have less stress, to have less worry. You have to look inwards and, and figure out the shadow aspects, figure out why your thoughts are not in alignment with your feelings, why your head's not in alignment with your heart. All right, uh, let's move on to this card. This card represents actions that you can take to improve your situation. Oh, that's nice. We got the Six of Cups. And uh, to me, this, this card is screaming to my face right now that you need to be less serious. Uh, be more relaxed. Be more, be more like a child. Remember when it was, what it was like to be a child when you would just go outside and play and that was the only r real thing that you had to worry about. And you went outside and played because that's what your soul was saying. And you have all these adults, blah, blah, don't go outside, it's raining, or blah, blah, you have homework to do. And those adults in this analogy kind of represent the ego that you've adopted for yourself now. Now instead of your parents saying don't go outside, it's you saying don't go outside and play. Don't go outside and play, you'll get dirty. Don't go outside and play, you have to go to work, right? Uh, and But what this card is saying is what you need to do, the actions you can take, is to return to that age of innocence when you were a kid. And you just followed your heart and you didn't care what the adults had to say. You know, your your soul is screaming to go play in the mud. And even though your ego mind or the adults were saying that you shouldn't do it, you still had to do it because that's what your soul wanted. And as a kid, you kind of just follow your soul unfettered. You don't really listen to outside things because, you know, you're a kid. Your soul is is driving this bus but somewhere along the way you allowed your ego to step into the driver's seat and now your ego is drunk okay your ego doesn't know where it's going it's throwing the gps out the window and now you're just driving around in circles okay um but your soul the whole time has known which way to go but you stop listening to it and uh that's the problem here cancer friends and uh so be a kid again be happy just follow follow your emotions they'll take you to to places that uh you need to be your emotions are directing you for the highest good for all so let's check out the mortimer column although i get the sense we know what shadow aspects at play here but let's see what the mortimer column here has to say we've got a raven and death oh my just in case you were wondering, uh, these cards are <laughs> made in human blood, so... Mm hmm. I think the important thing to notice here is this symbol stands for transformation and rebirth. And I think that we, that's kind of what needs to happen here. The death of the old self uh, needs to happen. 
And I definitely, you know, it has such negative connotation. That probably when I told you this was human blood, you got kind of weirded out. And that's just kind of a natural response that we have to the shadow aspects. But uh, death here is not about dying. It's about the old you dying. The, the, the you that doesn't follow your emotions, that doesn't follow your intuition, that doesn't follow your higher guidance. It needs to die. It needs to, you need to, you know, say a few words, okay? Put it in the ground and move on and, and go through a transformation. Uh, that is more in alignment with the Six of Cups. That is more childlike. So the shadow aspect here is refusal to change, I think. Getting down to it is not not being ready or willing or able to change. To, to be a different person. Uh, and that's the shadow aspect you're going to have to work through if you want to relieve yourself of worry and stress. You will need to change. Huh? Good so far, so far so good. All right, the last card we're gonna look at is the crystal reading cards, and we asked it what healing energy that cancers can focus on at this time to relieve worry and stress, and we got preconite. I've always been kind of unsure of how to say this word. I think it's preonite, preonite, preonite. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but we got trust here. Okay, trust in the self, trust in the process, trust in your higher guidance, trust the spiritual messages. When I've worked with Preonites, I've definitely felt an influx of spiritual messages. And it hasn't changed the amount of spiritual messages coming in. It just helped me attune to them. I had to trust them. You have to trust that that feeling that you have is coming from a place that of higher guidance that's concerned for you and is looking out for you. Uh, and I think that's a little bit of what's going on here. I think maybe a lot of you have lost your trust for your higher self, your higher guides. And you've lost trust in your ability to hear them. And as a result, a lot of us would l allow the ego mind to run the show, right? If we can't hear the messages from spirit, what do we have? We got to go to the ego mind. So no one's faulting you, cancer friend. But uh, something needs to change here. You need to trust your higher guidance. And maybe you're saying what what i have nothing to trust so how can i trust it exactly <laughs> right you you it's like a, a paradigm a catch 22 you can't hear it if you don't trust it and you can't trust it if you don't hear it but you can make that first step in saying yes you know what i'm going to open myself up to spirit i'm going to allow my intuition to guide me more than my ego mind i'm going to trust in my intuition i'm going to trust in my gut and if you make that change then you're going to see a change towards um following your guidance and the messages from spirit will become louder they will become more pronounced and they'll become more dependable and as you progress you're going to develop more and more trust for the message coming through so that's the healing energy if you have pre night or if you or have access to it uh, definitely use it it's going to it's going to increase your intuition this is a a crystal that resonates at the sacral and the um the yellow and the orange <laughs> the uh solar plexus and the sacral actually no actually no excuse me pre night's more of a heart um a heart's uh sake oh geez i can't i can't my words the, the, the yellow and the green <laughs> that's what i'm trying to say the yellow and the green the solar plexus and the heart and so it's going to align your actions with your emotions and you're going to start to take more action that are in alignment with your emotions, which is what the Six of Cups is saying. So I got to it in the end, okay? It was a roundabout way, but we got to the answer there. So, Cancer friends, that is the reading for minimizing worry and stress in your life. Uh, remember, this is a general reading. may not apply to you specifically, but if you want to... Uh, a reading where I tap into your energies, head on over to my Etsy shop. The link is in the description box below. We can do this reading or any number of readings. If you want this reading for yourself or get more personal, this would fall under the three card reading. So it's a cheaper option for you if you want to just go with the cheaper one. So I'd appreciate it if you go check that out. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button. It lets me know you enjoyed it, got something out of it. I'd love to hear your likes or see your likes, whatever you call it. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about these readings, whether they resonated with you or not. So uh, let me know in the comment section. And if you really enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the videos I release all the time. All right, Cancer friends, it's uh, change is needed here if you want to get rid of worry and stress. And it needs to be a shift towards the emotions, a shift towards the intuition, a shift towards trusting in the higher realms that they have your best good 
And um, I think we're going to get it more into an alignment. And you're going to stop trying to bring happiness to you and realize that all you have to do is actually uncover it. It's already here. It's just buried by a mound of nonsense that society has piled upon you. All right, Cancer friends. So uh, I wish you luck going forward with that. Uh, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this. Happy tarotting. Peace.